I think uh, Lake Elsinore uh, chose this type of equipment because we wanted to change the way we do business here. Uh, too many potholes uh, with the old-fashioned repair of cold mix, uh, it, they, the pothole re reoccurs. So year after year, we're having to go back and redo the same pothole. Uh, with this new technology, uh, we're able to complete it one time, one time only, and we will not go back to the same uh, uh, pothole. If you look at what we've done, look, this is the existing area. So you see what the tracement, what Justin is doing is breaking the crust. Asphalt forms a crust, protected zone. So he's going to break the crust. He's then going to add rejuvenated oil, right? When we first lay asphalt, what color is it? Black. Right? And look at the asphalt today. Right. Right? UV rays depletes. The oil, and that's when it starts starting this breakdown process. It's just like steel that starts to rust, exposed to oxygen. So the same thing happens, it oxidizes. What is added there was polymer. Polymer is an option that we have available that gives you extra strength. So we've got a proprietary blend that's also got a seeding capability that's in this. We use five feet long strips. We use three of them. The reason for that is we want to have a measured amount of oil going in. Too much oil is no good. So you want to be sure you have a specific number of oil. In the old days we would use oil and we'd either pour the oil onto it or sprinkle it on or spray it on and it's how much oil do we put in oil and have what we feel today, you know. So we use 32 ounces. Which I found has worked with DuPont industry to come up with the right amount. So it's about 2% of volume that we add to it. You don't have to add the polymer. If you have areas where you find that there's a lot of rutting that takes place, a lot of movement, you can use the polymer and it kind of gives you that extra strength that holds together. What Justin's adding there is recycled asphalt. So basically recycle the claimed asphalt all the asphalt plants, they have mountains of these. So again, we're using existing materials. We use it to recycle asphalt. And we're blending them in with the rejuvenating oil and the polymer if we use it as an option. The asphalt processor, and is going to hook up. Again, it all attaches to your skits there. The skits there does not have to be a high flow machine, so a standard flow machine works fine. The only factor is you got to have a skid here that will be able to pick up 3,500 pounds because that's the weight of the generator. So in essence, for anybody we're saving a budget of dollars because every city gets a matter of dollars they can spend a year. We're taking those budgets and we extending that because we get more work done with the same amount of money. And also we don't have repeat repairs. we also green. we also green. And that's the easy part about it. So in essence, we create a seamless joint with no repeat repairs. The, the plan is uh, to, this, this coming year, to ident identify the streets that we need to repair. Uh, we're going to start with major arterials, uh, major roads, so we can go ahead and start with those repairs. Uh, once we've completed those, we will go in uh, and crack fill the roads. Once we've crack filled them, then we're going to go ahead and slurry seal them. So once we've completed uh, those three processes, we'll have a 100% brand new road.